welcome back to my channel. It is Simply Jessica here today with a Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. Happy, happy Wednesday. It is hump day, the middle of the week. I started to fall the background. I just haven't finished, okay? Um, I did get some cute pieces up here. These are from the Dollar Tree. I have that pumpkin right there my mom made a few years ago with the tumbling blocks. Dollar Tree pumpkin there. Dollar Tree scarf. And I started to get some leaves and flowers in the tree. I just did not finish, but I'll get there. Probably this weekend I'll get done in here. Um, other than that, that's it. Uh, I did want to answer some questions just real quick. A lot of people are asking if mom and I were going to do more videos together. Yes, definitely. That was so much fun. I had so much fun doing that with her and vice versa. So yes, we will definitely be doing more videos together um, as often as we have time. So it was such a good thing to do. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. That was so exciting. And yeah, so at some point, yes, we will collab once again. So super excited. But let me show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. Some super, super cute stuff. And oh, so excited. I just want to adjust you a little bit. I feel like I'm really low. There we go. All right. So we are going to start here with some things. I have bought this. This was a different brand years ago. I already bought some. I'm pretty sure that I hauled it. I did use it. It doesn't seem to be causing any type of a problem, but it is the Color Safe Powdered Bleach. I know that it was a different company. I remember the box being completely different. I used to buy this years ago at the Dollar Tree. Always use it, never had a problem. I have bought this brand. I'm pretty sure I showed you, but in case I didn't, um, I've been using it, and again, it no issues whatsoever. So, Color Safe Powdered Bleach. It does give you the directions and everything you possibly want to know right here on the back. It is odorless, so it's unscented. You don't have to worry about that interfering with like your favorite laundry soap or your favorite fabric softener. So you don't have to worry about that interfering with the smell. And it is a 16 ounce box. You can tell it's a pretty big box. And $1.25. Just letting you know, I haven't had any issues, so I think it works pretty well. I did pick up the Value Health Ibuprofen. You get 30 capsules in each one. These are by Value Health. Um, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm an ibuprofen person. I try not to take it when I don't need to. Obviously, when I don't need to. Um, <laughs> I really try because I heard, like, I... Obviously, growing up, it's like, oh, something hurts, you just took something. But I do hear, like, this, the downfalls and side effects of aspirin and ibuprofen and all those fun things in life. So, I try not to take it nearly as often as I used to, that is for sure. But they are just these little brown pills. This is what they look like, if you can see that. And, again, they work good for me. They're off-brand, or again, by Value Health. They are not anything expensive but they work and that's why I get them. I also picked up some more tissues. These were definitely fitting for this season. It's got some cute little leaves there on the packaging, right? Super adorable. These are by Scotty. Um they are two ply. You get 64 of them in each container. This is actually your bottom. Here's your top. You'll just rip that off there and pull out your tissues because again, I know I keep talking about this. It's been two months. This cold is still here. I don't understand why it likes me um, so much and it's just sticking around because I'm sure you can actually hear it because I can hear it again where this is all congested. So I think it's gonna be time for another doctor's appointment um, because it just won't go away. It, it, I don't know. But more tissues because I need them. I got... Let's see, go over here. I did pick up the Gain or Original. Original, these are the fabric softener sheets, the dryer sheets. You get 15 of them in each box. They are 16 by 22 centimeters and they are 6.3 by 8.7 inches. Um, I guess I guess Gain's love or hate. I, I read some comments that I've gotten from people. I guess Gain's a love or hate thing. I love it. 
that's it. Um, like I mentioned, I don't use the other ones. I have to use original because I'm just like super sensitive to the other stuff. And my skin breaks out in these terrible itchy rashes. And not worth it. But Gain Original, definitely one of my favorites. And oh, I got these super cute LED pillar candles. I try to pick up these often quite, hmm, quite often around this time because I love to craft with them involved. So these are the nice tall pillar candles. You do get 120 hours out of each candle. They're by Luminescence. It has an on and off switch, as you can see, and it does have that little flickering effect, which is pretty awesome, which we all love and adore. So those are the little wicks there. And they do have, let me see if I can turn this on. It does have the little, let's see if we can see, the little flickering effect there. Right? Isn't that great? Because it totally makes it look like such a cute new, like, real candle. And again, 120 hours you get out of these bad boys. These do have, like, the little wax coating on the outside. You can actually, like, scrape that. I love these. I love their tea lights. I love their pillars. I just, I love all of them. So I do try to get a lot. I have, like, a container down there full of like I, I'm really like lean towards the battery operated candles anymore I have a lot of smelly candles I used to be like huge Bath and Body Works so with the baby being around now <laughs> I am leaning more towards the like the uh wow these lights right here okay the battery powered one LED holy the LED lights versus the real candles this year, but and speaking of those, here are the LED tea light candles. They are also by Luminescence. You get three of them in a pack. You will find them, I haven't yet this year, but you will find them in different colors as well. I know that they sell these in black. I know that they sell these in red as well. You'll also find them in just two packs. But keep your eye out because they do sell them in the three packs as well. So that is something to keep your eye out for. I also got, this is random, but we needed it. Um, <laughs> the garlic powder. That is from Supreme Traditions. There we go. So it's just a little seasoning. We go through it obviously like crazy. So I got some more. Does not expire until 2026, so we've got some time here. I like their spice section and their seasoning section. Not all of them, because some Dollar Trees I go to, they really don't have like a lot of anything, but others have a very, very, very nice selection. I'm not sure how your Dollar Tree is, but a lot of them have a very good selection as far as seasoning and spices and things like that go. I picked up... This right here, the Crazy Glue glue, this is, and I know I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again, this is the glue that I glue on my fake nails with. Um, <laughs> again, don't think it's recommended, but I do. Um, it says plastic, ceramic, wood, rubble, rubble, mm. rubber, metal, leather, and more. And I guess and more is what covers my fake nails. Um, these are my newest ones. I think they're super cute. But this is what I use. They stay on forever. Um, so there you go. This is crazy glue, all purpose super glue. This is what I use. Again, probably not recommended, but it works. I mean, I don't know what else, what else is nail glue other than super glue, to be honest to you. So I just go with that one. It's $1.25 at the Dollar Tree and it lasts me for a couple of months. Ah, uh, let's see where I wanna go here. Ah, uh, the little socks. I got these for my daughter's boyfriend's son. They're the little bum socks by Bum Equipment. I remember showing you these. I bought them for her boyfriend last year. He did say that they have like these little cushion, like they have cushiony little heels here. And I'm not sure if the kids ones do, but I know his, they have cushion sole. And he thought they were very, very comfortable. I told you it was like bought as a joke in the beginning, but he actually ended up liking them. And then I found them later in girl socks. I bought them for my daughter. And now I found them in little boy socks. So I bought them for his son. But you do get two pair. 
And I love these colors. I like the black, the gray, and then like that really cool, it's kind of like yellow and green. So we have more like a green color on this side and then more of like a bright yellowish color on this side. But look how cute those are. And you get two. They are fit shoe sizes one through seven. Uh, they're the quarter heel socks. And yeah, arch the port and then it has the cushioned sole. So I got those. I also picked up these eyebrow and facial razors. Look how cute these are. I'm hoping they work well. I, oh boy, I grew up in the 90s and plucking your eyebrows and waxing your eyebrows in the late 90s, early 2000s, probably even early 90s, was such a huge, huge, huge thing, if anybody can remember. And you used to have like pencil thin lines of eyebrows. I highly, highly, hardly grow any eyebrows anymore. A lot of this is colored in. Um, but these are great to get into like here. And since now I don't have a lot, I like to use these to kind of just trim up like where the archway is and then down on the top. Other than that, I don't touch these bad boys anymore because <laughs> they just don't grow in anymore. So these are great. I also see people using these for their face. There was like this huge TikTok trend that went around. They sell like this spray that you spray all over your face. It's white and it shows all the hair you have growing on your face and these are the little things they use to just shave that off eh, i don't know i go back and forth with the whole shaving of the face because you know a lot of the things you hear growing up if you shave it it comes back in thicker blah 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 so that's something that you would have to research if it's something that you are interested in doing um i guess weigh out your pros and cons, right? But these are like the little razors they use for that. So I picked up two. Well, one set, but it has two. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got this super cute little play phone. I actually feel like my mom gets these for the birds now that I'm looking at it. Uh, but I got this for Avery, right? You just pull out the back here and it's just cute. Please leave a message after the tone. Right? Can you hear that? So it's just a cute little phone. It's just plastic. Everything she uses gets thrown or shoved in her mouth. So nice little plastic. It's thick. It's not going to, no, no little pieces that are going to come off in her mouth. And again, she just throws it all and she bites it all and all of that. So I thought that would just be something fun for her to play with. And plus it makes a bunch of little different things when she pushes the button so that'll just be super fun for her but it's for a dollar guys like a dollar 25 but she'll love this i'm telling you um a couple little things that i bought for like christmas just kind of like little filler gifts this is a magnetic activity there is over 15 magnets you mix and mash mash mix and match the fashions so it includes one scene, two magnet sheets. So this is Barbie. Barbie is once again, super, super huge. Barbie was huge when I was growing up. Barbie was huge before me. And now Barbie is huge once again. So what it comes with is this magnetic sheet back here. So you have your two Barbies, you have them in the nice little background there. And then it comes with two magnetic sheets. And this is where you'll customize their little outfits, give them shoes. Oh my goodness, they have headsets, they have sunglasses, they have purses. But look how adorable that is. And this is in the Barbie. And they also have Spider-Man. <gasps> so I loved these. So here we have Spider-Man. The back of Spider-Man has just a nice city view. And then of course, all your little magnetic guys right here that you can just set up inside of there. But I think these are fantastic. These are absolutely adorable little filler gifts. And I loved them. They did have, not Bluey. Oh, Paw Patrol. It was Paw Patrol, Spider-Man, Barbie, and there might've been one other one. And I can't remember. But if I do see it again, I'll let you know. So they had a couple different ones. 
And then I found these little candle holders and goodness gracious if I am not in love. It is so super hard to see how cute this is on camera. I'm trying. But do you see, let me turn it this way, all the little specks in there. So you have this nice silver, you see all the red specks. That's what you can see through here. So when there's a candle in here and that is lit up, that's what you're going to see shining through here, which is going to be completely adorable. I just know it is. So I got two red ones, of course, for Christmas time, but I am just obsessed. Look at that. So when you, there you go. So when I turn that, you can see all the crackle and the pieces. So it's going to be red, but when you light that up, all the little light is going to shine through all those little cracked pieces. So I am super, super obsessed with those. And then I also got these little, these are called color glass vases. I got two of them in the black. They're the only color that they had. Um, I feel like they probably had other ones, but I'm not sure. It has a nice little gold rim there, but I'm thinking we are gonna switch these up as well. It looks super easy to do, but these kind of just remind me of like Christmas ornaments of some sort. So I think we're gonna try to figure out something to do there for the holiday season, but I think these are gonna be super easy to cover with spray paint. So we're gonna do something. We're gonna figure something out here because that's what came to mind when I saw these. And did I say vases? Yeah, so vases. But like how cute if we can just kind of like maybe change these up for Christmas. That is what I'm thinking. And I also got one little set. These are the cobblestone corners. They started getting their stuff out. And look at, we have Santa, the snowman, and then Santa's mailbox. How sneaking adorable. I absolutely love it. But that is all I have for you guys today. I have pictures that I want to throw up at the end of this video. So as soon as I'm done thanking you for watching, I will post those there so you can see some of some more of the great stuff the Dollar Tree has out. But again, thank you so much for watching. Happy Wednesday. And until next time, bye now.